So it's April 21st, 2022. If you're seeing this right now, it means that it's snowing. But look at how beautiful it looks. It doesn't even look like there's any snow in the forecast or anything. It's perfectly blue, clear as a bell. But I'm just really excited about tonight because I'm such a dork. So anyway, I hope you all are having a great, great day. You guys are so nice. Like the comments you guys leave are so nice. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. Just check out how beautiful it is up here. This is really, really pretty. But as I said, this is gonna go right into the snow video. See you guys. Hey, I want you guys to see the storm coming in over the over the mountains right now. It looks awesome. It looks so cool, especially over here to the right. And then we'll get to some snow, I promise. But you guys have to see how pretty this looks. It's still blue sky above us, but not for long. Look at all of this coming in. Some of it's already peeping over right here. Very cool. Hopefully we do get some good snow. That'll be awesome. You guys take care. Here it comes. What's up, everybody? How are you all doing? Hope everyone's doing well. It is technically the 22nd of April right now. It's just past midnight. It's like 1230. The weather is just coming in now. So this is pretty cool. I'm excited about it. Very excited about it. Oh my gosh. How's everyone doing? I miss you guys a lot. Always miss you guys. That's why I'm glad we get to do these videos. Hope you all are great. Um, yeah, just excited about this weather. I don't know why I'm always such a dork like this, but it is what it is. Anyway, enjoy. We're getting some snow and some sleet and some rain all at once. Hang on, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, so we're getting like a snow, sleet, and rain mixture. I guess that's what kind of sleet would be. <laughs> so we're getting sleet, or oh shoot, or grapple, whatever it's called. Sorry that oh shoot was because there's like six cop cars just right to the right of me right there. I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't think. Maybe being awesome in public. There's a crime. Yeah, look at this guys, it's April 22nd. There's a couple clips that I, I put a, I'm gonna put ahead of this video that I did earlier today, so you guys can see just how perfectly clear it was before the storm came in, and then to see the storm coming in, it's just like a minute and a half or something, maybe, maybe not even that long, but thought it'd be pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, we're getting some big snowflakes over here. This is cool. I think we're gonna do a loop, bitty loop around lake see what's going on over in Fonskin so yeah you guys it is 37 degrees well it's, it's actually gonna keep on dropping I bet it's about 33 degrees right now 12 30 in the morning on Friday Friday April 22nd <laughs> it seems to that. oh my gosh why do I get so excited about this I don't know but I do I say this every video, it's just shocking to me. In eight years, it's still like, I'm still just as excited as I was the first time. Oh man, I'm so bummed this season's coming to an end. I'm really gonna miss a lot of the interaction with you guys. But you know what, keep in mind though, I do all of our thunderstorms and stuff like that also. And I also like to, um, I'd like to start doing some other stuff too. You, you know, you, you guys have made me want to do more. So thank you, thank you so much. And thank you guys, I thank you guys for everything. Hang on, this person's calling me again, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Somebody who won't leave me alone. Kind of weird, kind of a weird situation. Anyway. Anyway, oops, turn off my brush. 
right, so there we go, there we go. Yeah, and turn it back on. I love this drive so much. It's so peaceful. And having all of you here with me, it's, it's that much better. Every time, it's that much better. But yeah, we're getting some snow, you guys. It's 36 degrees. Our friend Scott was gonna come with us tonight, but it got too late. The storm was supposed to show up around nine or 10 o'clock, but it always gets pushed back. And then it got pushed back to about two or 2.30, but look what's happening at 12.30. So this is good. This is awesome. serenity and then coming across here and seeing all this wind blown snow just blowing blowing across the road here it's just this is beautiful the snowfall amounts have gone up since the original prediction or well since what I thought was going to be a solid prediction yesterday so yeah to be like three inches maybe some spots might see five but we are uh, now it's saying that for most of the area we could see like three to five inches so that's good it's a little bit more than uh, originally anticipated and the closer we get to the storm and during the storm the more comfortable I feel about the predictions I'm kind of confident in this one, so I'm hoping something good happens. I'm probably not going to be able to sleep much tonight because I'm going to want to do another video like right when the sun's up so you guys can see how beautiful town looks. It's too bad I don't use drugs. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, I mean, not about too bad. <laughs> Not about the too bad part. <laughs> wow. Those snowflakes stopped all of a sudden. And there's a few more coming up here. But we'll see. If it's not completely coming down at the dam, we'll just turn around and come back. stoked super stoked this is when I'm always happy I could be going through anything in life and it doesn't matter like this is this keeps me going so I'm very grateful for this right now especially right now and I'm really grateful to get to hear from you guys as usual you guys couldn't be more supportive it's really unbelievable Yesterday, I got to meet another one of you guys. Another person came running up to me in the parking lot of this time Stater Brothers. It feels so good that you guys like treat me like a celebrity when you see me. <laughs> it really feels good. It really feels good. So thank you, ladies. I really appreciated that yesterday. I'm not trying to be rude. I, I, I can't remember your names. They were really, really sweet and had the nicest things to say and how like they come up to Big Bear because of the channel. That's just the coolest thing ever to hear something like that. It really is. And apparently I'm very handsome. <laughs> that was nice to hear too, but the girl of my dreams is like, oh man. She's the only one who I who I want to hear that from, you know. <laughs> but it does feel good to hear it from from other people. You want to know something crazy? Well, it's not crazy, but even one of my guy friends, he 
even one of my guy friends, like, like really nice, really, really, really nice guy. I'm just, I'm totally, totally hetero. And, you know, I don't have a problem with anybody doing whatever they want. But, uh, um, yeah, he made some pretty, uh, I don't know, uh, comments that would be like, like at work, you'd lose your job. So like, yeah, I, I, I didn't know what to say. He's my friend, so I didn't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> kind of funny. Sorry, I don't mean to get off on these tangents like that. Anywho, we're at the dam. It's barely getting any snow over here. You know what? Maybe just for giggles, we'll just go around and just talk story the whole time. Who knows? Yeah, let's just do that. I do got to use the John, so hopefully we can make it back. You guys got to remember, I'm getting old, so I got to, you know, when, when you got to go, you got to go sometimes. like to know how, know how you guys are doing, how life's treating you all. Me, it's, it's, it's the same old, same old. Just lots of things to overcome constantly. But I think that's what makes me exciting, I guess, in some ways, is that I'm always fighting. I'm always fighting to get ahead and get what I want. And I always get what I want. Like, I always get what I want. And not in an arrogant type of a way, like, I, I just, I always get what I want, because I believe in myself enough, and I, I don't know if that confidence always rains off, but, you know, you, you have to strive for what you want, and you have to really go for it, no matter what it is, a job, you know, to get a special placement in school, just whatever, like, like, for a girl, for a guy, you know, you just gotta know that you are the sh you're the shiznit, and that's it. You know, no arrogance. You just gotta know that you are worth it, and that you are worthy of showing love and respect, and especially to yourself. Because if you can't show yourself love and respect, and if you're being dragged around in the dirt and kind of feeling like you're being led to nowhere, that's that's never gonna that's that's never going to work out. You got to stand up for yourself always. Even if it's a situation that you really want, sometimes it's better to just lose it. As hard as it is to say that, trust me, as hard as it is to say that, when you're in deep in certain situations, and the last thing you want is to, is that situation to fall apart, sometimes the best thing that can happen is for it to fall apart. <clears throat> Certainly not referring to to anything in my personal life. I'm just trying to give advice on how I've gotten through things and how I go through things. I mean, I, I go through struggles all the time. I go through struggles all the time. Especially with this new girl in my life. It's just such a confusing situation. And I have fallen in love with her. But I am still strong enough to be able to be okay. Worst case scenario, you know. But it's just, it's just really hard situations and I knew what I was getting into at the very beginning um, and it's a worthwhile situation it really is she's a very special person who's been through so much hell in life more hell than it. probably everybody I know combined and she still keeps on fighting and I just want to be able to be there and, and, and give her everything because she's had so much taken away and I want to be able to do that for her I want her to smile nonstop, always. I don't ever want her to frown. I want her face to hurt so bad because she's nonstop smiling. Like those muscles are contracting constantly that it just starts to begin to be painful. But I don't want the pain to hurt, <laughs> but I want it to be painful. Yeah, she's 
she's special, and it's good to be able to feel about people like that, but once again, like, as hard as it is, you still have to be able to know your limit and know when to make the right decisions about things and not to let your heart and what's right in most situations lead you astray because you know you always want to follow your heart but sometimes your heart's going to get you really hurt and so sometimes you you have to bring logic into it and weigh it and see which one's going to be best for you and I'm just talking about this stuff right now because I, I, I go through things like this all the time I really do you guys know me like I, I go through a lot I go through a lot and I fight through a lot and I overcome a lot you guys have seen me in, in so much pain, but I'm not going to allow myself to be in pain anymore like that, because you know what, it really is all up to me, and so I'm just, I just got to keep on being firm and being strong and being myself and believing in me, and whatever happens, happens, I mean, I'm not going to be somebody else that I'm not, ever, and nobody should, nobody should, that's just a way to completely lose your dignity you do not want to be that way as hard as it is sometimes you just gotta cut it loose and go you gotta bounce to the ounce but anyway we're in Fonskin now we're coming through the downtown area we're still getting some snow flurries over here so I'm thinking when we get back closer to my side of town, it's going to be snowing heavier. So that must have been just a little push that came through ahead of the, the brunt of the storm. But we shall see. I might have to do another video at like 3 or 4. We'll see. Depending on how, how much heavier it starts snowing. You guys are my best friends in the world. You guys are really my best friends in the world, especially the ones who stick around this long and watch to this point. Thank you guys for everything, all the support. I can't ever stop telling you guys thank you because you guys have, have saved my, have probably saved my life in, in, in a few ways, so thank you. Words can't even, can't even put it into words how much you guys need to me. up a little bit more but for driving conditions you guys are totally fine you guys have nothing to be, nothing to be worried about up here at least once you get here <clears throat> obviously I have no idea what it's like if you're driving up highway 330 and 18 I have no idea and that side of the mountain range typically gets typically gets hit harder than us but they're at a lower elevation so they might not get as much snow but I'm telling you if like Crestline and Lake Arrowhead and all those areas over there running springs were at our elevation the amount of snow they would get would dwarf us we're in the worst part of the mountain range for snow like the very back right on the desert right on the desert side
around here. But yes, the snow is picking up. So is our speed. out here with no one on the road. Oh, by the way, the temperature went up to 37 degrees. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be back out here at like 4 in the morning. So it stinks because a lot of you aren't going to watch these first two videos because you're probably going to watch like the, the most recent video that, that comes up. Once again, I don't, I don't kind of care about people watching them. It's just like I want you guys to see this because I love you guys, man. Is that a bear right there? Dude, I, I swear, I swear. It looked like, I swear that looked like a bear. I wanna turn around, but I don't. It really looked like a bear sitting in that tree. No joke. It's really snowing over by Snow Summit. It's really coming down over there, but not so much on this side of the lake. So once we cross Stanfield Cutoff, it'll probably probably be a, a little bit. Actually, it'll guarantee be better than it is right now because it's not snowing at all right now. So I guarantee we can do a little better than that. some tumbleweed.
maybe I was wrong about it snowing harder over here. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good ride. It's 12.53 right now. We'll be done by 12.55. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope some of you get a chance to come up here and enjoy the weather with us. Enjoy this beautiful snow. Anyway, I love you guys a lot. Thank you for everything. Once again, thank you for all the beautiful comments. I, I can never thank you guys enough for that. Thank you. Alright guys, we're out of here.